Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily AI videos here and ChatGPT and other AI tools. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to essentially grab images and basically make them so they can be more in product oriented that you'd use for customers reasoning. For example, they got this nice uh, shoe right here with the simple prop, the gym shoes. We got all these different AI generated um, product shots that could be used in the store for your product listing. What I'll say right now is this is probably going to be one of the most important slash valuable tutorials I do on this channel. So if you found this tutorial, make sure you stay tuned here. I plan on doing a lot more on this topic. I plan on releasing a whole video series on using GPT and AI to build out different e-commerce businesses such as digital products, drop shipping products, and private label products. That is to come in the future. So make sure you subscribe, make sure to like. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and start off by looking at Alibaba, find an image that may be low resolution or a product that we like and build out a bunch of different product shots that we can use to potentially launch with that product. All right, so we're over here at Alibaba or AliExpress. I prefer Alibaba and using that, if I'm going to be using a diff, uh, if I'm going to be launching a product or dropshipping a product, um, obviously you got your dropshipping section. You got, you know, using Alibaba, you're probably more likely to white label here, but for the purposes of this tutorial, Let's go ahead and find a product that we can go ahead and drop ship and build a bunch of product images that probably isn't provided um, through Alibaba or the manufacturer. So one right off the bat that I really like is this baseball mint. So we might be doing that. So let's go ahead and check out anything else though here that stands out to us. All right, cool. So I found a drop shipping image here. We have some images provided by the supplier. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab one of these images and we're going to go ahead and use that as the basis of what we want to do in today's tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this image right here, save this image. So right off the bat, I noticed that there's this stuff up here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and just crop this real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and drag it here. And this is on Mac. So all I'd have to do is drag what I want to crop and command K. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. And there's our image, obviously low res. So let's go ahead and do our first step here, which is going to be up the resolution of this image. So then we can have high quality that can then be used for the ad images we'll make for our product listing. As always, all the links will be found in the video description below. And the first processor we're going to be using here is going to be an image resolution, upping the resolution of the underlying image here. So we're just going to simply grab the image. Okay, we got our ad image here. And then this is by the scale of factors of how much you want to do it. So let's say it was a 1000 by 1000. If I chose two here, it'd be 2000 by 2000. Purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and scale it up to three. If there were faces in the image, you would want to do face enhancer. Purpose of this tutorial, there is no faces. If you want to check out a tutorial that looks more at upping resolution images and what you can do there, go ahead and check out the video right up there. But for now, let's go ahead and let this run and grab this image. All right, perfect. So as you see here, we got our up resolution looking a lot better already. So I'm going to go ahead and download that by doing save image as again. And that's going to do up resolution. If you feel like you learned something so far in this tutorial, make sure to like it really helps us here at web cafe AI, but let's go ahead and grab, take that image that we just up the resolution from grab from the manufacturer and let's go ahead and make some product shots with it. Oh, let's go back real quick. So as you see here, we have a bunch of different examples and you can go ahead and check out the link below of different ways you can use this and, you know, floaty uh, with the prompt of swim ring and you know, all these different ways you can use it. So we're going to scroll all the way up here and we're going to do our own little thing. So we're going to go ahead and upload our dog bed. What's nice is that we have the up resolution. I could have upped this even further for the purpose of the tutorial. We're not going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and just choose our product with uh, 0.6. We'll just do the original. Well, actually, we'll do half because basically what that's saying is how much it fills the screen of the underlying image it's going to produce. So we're going to do half. And then we're going to do the prompt of dog bed in home. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure it doesn't have all this stuff. So we don't want illustration. We don't want 3D. We don't want uh, painting, cartoon, sketch. We want to make sure this is realism, right? And then we're going to go ahead and upscale the image again to make sure we maintain the quality here. And then we're going to basically see how many different variations we can get for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and do the max of four. And then this type of stuff, you don't have to worry too much about. We can keep it as the default and we're going to go ahead and press submit. All right, perfect. So we have our outputs here. So we got our first output here, our second one, uh, our third one and our fourth one. So it seems like the underlying prompt actually makes it so that the dog bed goes on top of the dog bed. So I'm learning that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun this prompt 
as you can already see it's already looking pretty cool here i'm gonna rerun this prompt i'm gonna have it so it's just uh in the home essentially so we're not getting a dog bed underlying it okay so as you see here the intention here is you're going to want to put in just dog bed or the product that you're dealing with and then essentially ai chooses how that best places you know said product so in the context here we got our four images honestly not a best not the best not amazing but as you see you something to work with right I would suggest you regenerate um, more prompt examples to see what you're looking for. You can also minus certain things. So maybe you're like, you know, minus steps, um, minus under a table, right? And that's basically what a negative prompt is in this context, basically stuff that you really don't want to show up in the end result. But with that being said, I wanted to give you a quick teaser on the potential AI has when it comes to just launching an e-commerce store with drop shipping and so on and so forth. When we launch our course on this topic, we're going to go over how to contact a supplier using GBT, how to use GBT to build out the descriptions for this product. Basically, everything you would need to know, AI integrated with starting a business is going to be a big thing that happens in the coming years. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to Web Cafe so you are staying up to date with new AI technology that can affect and improve your business or your daily life. And for that, I'll see you in the next video.